What is up guys, Jake from One Hive here with our next recap video. This one, eh, I mean, I hate these. I hate uh, ties when we should have won or losses when we should have won. Um, uh, awesome job to this Asian clan. Uh, they had a lot of uh, good attacks. They were pretty good with Laloon, uh, different variations, and they had a Town Hall advantage. Uh, we have five Town Hall 10s in this war, and they had nine, uh, so that's a you know, it's a pretty big difference um, when you're talking about, uh, you know, a 30 versus 30 war. It's, you know, they had, we both clans had 15 three stars and 10 of theirs were either three star in our town hall eights or town hall tens moving down to three star our town hall nines, which we obviously did not have the luxury of. And that being said, uh, shame on me, shame on us town hall nines. Six Town Hall 9s that uh, did not get cleaned up. I don't know how far back we would have to go to find a war like that, but it would be a ways. Uh, so just did not perform up to what we what our standard is, what we normally do, and it cost us with a with a tie, which we pretty much look as a, at a, as a loss. So uh, we'll tighten it up and, and hopefully do better. But that being said, there was some people that really stepped up and had some awesome attacks. Uh, first one was Heg taking on their number uh, seven. Just a go we wipe. Uh, but just almost got the three star on this base and a relatively, you know, upgraded Town Hall 10. Not had good walls, uh, basically max level nine defenses and infernal towers. So not a not an easy base by any stretch. Uh, just a few troops in there take out a defensive building, get the CC lure, brings them over to the side. Uh, queen, witches, wizards, normal normal kill squad. There nothing special there. Uh, then just starts to send in his golems on this side of the base. Just Spread them out along the side there, uh, tanking, obviously following them up by uh, spreading out his wizards behind them, so that was good. Uh, probably should went ahead and dropped that last golem before he lost a, a wizard there to that cannon, but no big deal. Uh, just everything moving in the base, starts dropping wall breakers, just you know, bust, opening compartments, moving deeper and deeper towards the core. Uh, King goes down. Basically, the whole side's uh, eliminated here, so the funnel is, is all but created. You see more uh, wall breakers. Sort of like an old school... You know, before people really started utilizing jump, but he also brought a jump right there to let him all the way into the into the core, into the town hall area. Uh, drops his pekkas, drops a rage form and a freeze. Now the pekkas get in there. They're going to take that infernal tower out with like one swipe uh, under that rage. The king goes down in like one swipe. Now they're all the way into the core. He drops another rage form right here. Boom, they're in there. The town hall is going to go down instantly right there. The two stars are already in the bag. A nice freeze for that second infernal tower. Uh, you see everything's just moving around the sides of the base here, cleaning up really nicely. Uh, we'll start to fast forward a little bit because this one, you know, is, is petering out at this point. Uh, the right side got taken out. The left side right here, the king goes down. Now they're sort of on their own. Maybe some, I don't know, maybe some back-end balloons. Uh, Mike could have let one of those golems stay home. And I don't know, maybe that wouldn't have had a good push in there. I, I, so close to a three-star, you start looking at it and saying, okay, what could have maybe uh, gotten them the extra percentage points? But... Nevertheless, a very good attack by Hag Aunt. Just almost got a three-star on that base, so good job, man. All right, let's move along here. Uh, T. Smith. T. Smith had an awesome war. I believe he had a six-star war, uh, which, you know, we needed it. Uh, so really good job, T. T Smith, for stepping up. Uh, number 12 here, the, the general. General is always good for a three-star. Uh, brings a nice Laloon. One golem just to take out an air defense the queen and to tank, you know, while the CC troops are getting taken care of. Uh, just a few wizards go down, help create that funnel, uh, send the, the heroes straight in. Everything's going straight to the, to the core there. Jump spell goes down, let them all the way into that queen. As soon as these two first defenses uh, go down, then the king will lock onto the queen. He'll get right in there and take her out right here. Boom. He locks on. She's going to go down pretty quickly. CC troops start coming out. Uh, T. Smith's got a lightning for them. Doesn't really get all of them. They sort of I don't know, just the way it went, uh, didn't get me, and they started going towards the queen, but she was able to take care of the rest of them, just the queen's ability, those extra archers for distraction, and the sea troops get cleaned up, so no problem there. Now the Lava Hound start uh, coming in different angles, that's great, uh, using that clockwise motion on this one, uh, does drop a few sort of on the, it reverses it and goes counterclockwise for a moment, just have a different angle they're coming in at, but right back to going clockwise, more Lava Hounds go down, different angles there. Uh, just, you know, normal stuff. It probably could have been a little quicker on the second uh, Lava Hounds and the Balloons there. 
but no big deal. You see the lava hounds start to bust. Those pups are underage. That's great. They're taking out those air traps uh, pretty quickly. Uh, good spell placement. You know, the spell placement was spot on. Uh, and then you'll see as this second air defense goes down here, it's pretty much over. Uh, one, more, one more lava hound bust. He has one more, which is going to travel up to the top air defense. And then he's got a few more loons he's going to send in behind there. So pretty, pretty straightforward, you know, uh, against the general. They're taking nothing away from T. Smith. It was an awesome attack, but this one's been done uh, and done to death. So really good job, T. Smith, on the, on the war as, as a whole, uh, picking up some slack for people like myself. So appreciate it, man. All right, we'll fast forward as that one gets cleaned up and uh, move on to the next one. Let's see who we're going to look at. Pico. Let's check out Pico hitting number 17 here. Boom, right there. 17, Pico. Uh, just a, a very nice hog attack, to be honest. Uh, I guess you could call it a holo because he does use some balloons to take out a few targeted defenses, just these outlying point defense, which really, you know, that's nice. If you can take out, what do you take out? One, two, three point defenses. Didn't quite get that top archer tower. But three point defense before the hog raid starts, that's pretty big. Uh, you know, that they're obviously your biggest threat to your hogs. Uh, so that's that's a pretty nice leg up. Uh, drops uh, a few of those balloons got partial lure. He drops another hog, which almost finishes the lure, but there's actually a few minions left in there. Uh, just drops distraction troops, which is uh, the queen. All the normal stuff for the kill squad up top. Nothing special there. Really like that goal or that wizard there to help create the funnel. Uh, the timing was good. Uh, the archer tower was distracted, so that was nice. Then sends in the golem. Uh, the last little bit of the of the CC troops come out. Uh, the queen will lock onto them pretty quickly. And then again, just some more wizards try to help push all everything in. The jump spell right there uh, guarantees that the that the king's going to go right in because that excuse me because that building is right next to the wall there. Uh, he's locked onto the queen. She's going down. Hogs are already coming in. From the side this is a cleanup attack so he knew where the bombs were and right here boom uh nice uh, sp spell placement there's two bombs there it's not really a double because they're separated by a wall but you know still uh, covered them both with one heel so that's good uh, they trigger them one at a time just working their way through the base you'll see right here on this top side a few hogs in the kill squad trigger double set in the core uh, but the majority of his hogs were still down south here uh, he still got them standing in heels so Everything's going great, really. Uh, both both heroes in the core doing work. The queen's shooting out there. Right there, uses her ability, takes out that expo. Uh, he's got, you know, a spell left, uses it right there. Just keeping everything alive, working this way through the base. Again, that queen really doing a lot of work on that, on that side up there. So the hogs don't have much left to do. We'll start to fast forward as the last two defensive buildings go down, and it is just cleanup time. You see wizards on the outside already uh, clean up underway there. So really nice attack, Pico. Uh, keep it up, buddy. All right, let's get one more, and then we'll wrap this thing up. Uh, Pero the Great, taking on number 25. And this was a great attack. Uh, boom, 25. This is a good illustration, and I've got a, a video coming out soon on a, a sort of how-to hog attack uh, for hog attacks these these days. Uh, you know, it's a, lot, a lot has changed since the last one. This is, this is a great illustration of it, though. A uh, few hogs go in, take out one defensive building that's guarding the double giant bomb set, and then they get in there and trigger one bomb. Now, that double bomb set is eliminated. It's no longer a set. Uh, if it was me, I probably would have tried to come from the opposite side of the queen because you're already going to use your kill squad to get into that compartment and take out the queen. Uh, but the way Peril does it works perfectly fine as well. Drops, brings the CC troops over, takes care of them in normal fashion, drops the golem, a uh, few wizards just to help create that funnel. Now everything's going in. A few wall breakers. You see this big compartment here. The queen's definitely going to jump into uh, right there. Boom. She jumps right into the compartment. Last few CC troops are coming out, but the king's on her. She's going to go down in just a second. Boom. Right there. She's going down. Uh, the queen's going to help take care of those last few minions that are bothering them. But you saw the golem there. Triggered the other bomb. Now, there's another bomb set, but he's pathing his hogs in a way that he knows it's going to trigger them one at a time. You see he's coming in from that what I call the, the long side of the bombs, not the short side. So there's, they're always going to trigger it one at a time. He's got the pre-heal there, uh, so no problem. You see he sort of sandwiched this base. Uh, they're coming in, just dropping heals where needed. You know, you got the double Teslas there, obviously going to need a heal. And I had a few hogs just to keep the uh, hogs from stepping out of the heal on that, on that archer tower took it down, so that's nice. You see he's got two heal spells left here and not that much room to cover really, so... Last heal spell or another heal spell goes down. Uh, the hogs were taken out. You know all the remaining defenses there. Maybe just a few spring traps that he loses right here on this on this archer tower. Boom! But 
really doesn't even need the last heal spell. Uh, just goes ahead and uses it, but really unnecessary. Uh, the Hogs had it taken care of more than enough, and you see the cleanups underway. Wizards, uh, Queen still had her ability, used it right there, and it's, this one's over. You know, really nice job. Had two wall breakers left they didn't even need, uh, but a great attack, a great uh, sort of how-to Hog in the, in the modern era, I guess. All right, guys, that is it. Um, again, disappointed with myself. I don't know what it is with me. I've been, the last two wars, just not good. Uh, just sort of in a funk. Uh, my, my attacks reflected. I think it's just real life keeping me busy and, and not being able to focus like I need to. And maybe that's what's going on with, with a lot of our Town Hall 9s right now because we, we just let we let ourselves down this war. Uh, but some of the guys stepped up and picked up the slack and kept us from getting the loss. So thank you to you guys for picking up my slack. That's it for this one. Got some more videos coming this weekend. Until then, Jake from One Hive reminding you guys to suck less.